hey guys and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here today i have an exciting poundland video this is the first time i've done a poundland haul i don't know why i haven't done one before because i absolutely love finding all the random things in poundland for a pound so that is what i'm going to be doing today i spent exactly 15 pounds so i have 15 things to show you ranging from beauty stuff to cleaning products, stationery, and some chocolate, and also some hair accessories. So if you'd like to see what I picked up in Poundland, then just keep on watching. If you hear any whining in the background, that is my dog, Dylan. He is currently downstairs, but he wants to come upstairs and sit with me, but he's crying at the bottom of the stairs for me to go and carry him and bring him upstairs, which I'm not willing to do, like I'm running around after that dog like his slave, so I'm not doing it today. Pause the video, grab yourself a cup of tea and I hope you enjoy. So I'm not gonna keep saying, and this was a pound because everything I bought was one pound. I know you can buy other things in Poundland that are like three pound, five pound, but I did buy everything that was a pound. So the first thing I picked up is these Magic Stars. These are my absolute favorite chocolate, like they are the best. So I thought I'd buy these so that I can sit and eat them while I'm doing the video and while I show you the rest of the stuff. They're just the best chocolate. <laughs> not happy. I am not happy, right? This is what is, oh my God, this is why. What is this? What is that? I was expecting a bag of magic stars and I have a huge chunk of magic stars. <gasps> Wonderful, so I need to eat this like a chocolate bar. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit grim actually. Okay, well, I do have a few separate ones inside. So I'll eat them and I'll just put this big chunk to the side. Right. Great start, Poundland. So the next thing that I bought in Poundland is this Fabulosa Disinfectant Spray. These are really, really nice. And usually they're a little bit smaller than this, I think. I usually buy them in the range, but I saw them in Poundland and they are the same price in the range anyway. Um, but this is a 500 ml version and this is in the scent Electrify. And I haven't seen this one before. I did smell it in the shop and it smells really, really nice, like a really clean, fresh scent. It's really nice and it's also this lovely pink colour, so I really like that about it. And the great thing about Fabulosa is it is vegan friendly and they are obviously only a pound and it is a disinfectant, so yeah, I'm going to enjoy using this one. So the next item that I bought is a Zoflora disinfectant. This is the concentrated one, so you have to mix water in with this one. And this is the Midnight Bloom scent. Now I haven't used this one before, it is a limited edition one. It says it's a mystical seductive fragrance combining oriental rose, orange blossom with rich dark amber. So I'm gonna have a smell of this now because a few people say that this is their favorite scent. So I have wanted to try it for a while. So when I saw it in there, I thought I need to grab that. Oh, that's sweet. Hello, so you came up then. You decided to come up by yourself. Is that because you smelled the chocolate? Yeah, come here then. Dylan, come on. Are you going to say hello? Here's the brave boy that came upstairs all by himself. Are you, are you camera shy? It's like you're not looking at the camera. Look, Dylan. <laughs> you little baby on you. You gonna come and sit with mummy then? I hope he's not a distraction. I'll let him sit there for a bit. So yeah, as I was saying, a few people said this was their favorite scent and it does smell very, very sweet. It's, I actually don't like it first off when I smell it like this, but I'm hoping once I've mixed it with water and I clean the floor and sides with it, that it will actually smell a little bit better. It's just a little bit too sweet for me. But still, I will definitely use that anyway. So then next up, I just picked up these uh, makeup cotton pads. There's not really much to say about these. It is just 200 cotton rounds and it's good value to get those in Poundland. So next up, I got a few things for the bath. If you've watched my other videos, you know that I love a bath. So the first thing that I got is this calming milk bath. Now I've never used milk bath before. Um, so I really don't know what to expect from it. It is like white and glittery. 
Um, I think what it's going to do when you pour it in the bath, it's going to make it like a creamy milk colour, which I thought sounded really, really nice. It does say you just sprinkle it under warm running water and allow it to dissolve. So I'm really excited to try that out. Uh, this says it is against animal testing. Now, when it says against animal testing, I'm always wondering, does that mean that it is cruelty free? Or does it just mean that they're against it, but they still maybe do it? I I don't know. Some of these companies cleverly word stuff to make you think that things are something that maybe they're not. Um, so I don't want to say this is cruelty free because I'm not 100% sure. But it does look really, really nice and it says it's relaxing spa fragrance. So let's have a smell. Yeah, it smells a bit like fizzy candy. I think it'll be nice though. I'm excited to try that out. It is something different, which I've never seen before. So yeah, give that one a go. No, no chocolate for doggies. So the next thing that I bought for the bath is this relaxing spa bath fizzer shell. So this is basically just a bath bomb and it is purple and it looks like a shell. And I smelt this straight away when I went near the bath bombs because it's got a really nice strong scent to it. It's lovely. It reminds me, what does it remind me of? The scent of it reminds me of one of the scents from the White Company. I can't remember the name of the scents though, but it definitely has that kind of scent to it. But yeah, it's really, really nice. I'm hoping that when I do put this in the bath, it is gonna turn it like this nice purple color. Um, but we shall see. And they had quite a lot of different bath bombs in there, all different kind of scents and shapes and things. So there was quite a lot to choose from, but I just went for this one because I did really like the smell of it. Okay, so next I picked up this Jess Wright Beauty Tissue Face Mask with Vitamin C. And it is just designed to sit on your face for 15 minutes and it's gonna leave you with healthy looking, beautiful skin. And it is infused with Vitamin C. So, I mean, I don't know how good this mask is going to be, but I do love a face mask and I love tissue ones because I just put it on, lay there and then peel it off and it's easy. And then you usually just kind of massage the rest of the formula into your skin. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to use that. There was a lot of other Jess Wright stuff in there. There was some like fake tans, some skincare, things like that. Um, I didn't pick up any of those because I have just done a fake tan review. So I thought I would just stick with the face mask for today. So next up, I have these false nails, which are almond shape. And they're in this really, really nice bright fuchsia pink color. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to grab some of these. Even though I know we can go to nail bars and things now, I still don't really get my nails done that much, mainly because I do massages, so I can't really have long nails. But having something like this, if I'm just going for an evening out or maybe a weekend away, just to like pop on some fake ones like this is always really handy. So I thought I would pick these up and give them a go. And they do look a really nice colour, actually. They had quite a lot of different ones in there, they, but they were mainly like quite bright colours because I would have liked a nude set, but they didn't seem to have any nude ones. It was more like bright reds and pinks and purples. He's so funny. He just loves to like sit. And when he's on you, he's just very still. I think he is a little bit nervous still, like where he's a rescue dog. Um, you don't really know what's happened to him in the past. So I think he is still a bit worried about being dropped. However, he does love to just sit on your lap. So I think you're okay, aren't you? Okay, so the next thing I have is very, very boring and it is just this Dove Original. Um... Oh, do you like that? Funny, isn't it? Dogs don't need deodorant. Why don't you ever smell like B.O.? Yeah, this is the one that I always use. So when I saw it in there, I just thought I'll grab that one. I love the scent of Dove stuff. It's just so nice, isn't it? It's such a classic scent. So next up I have this Paw Paw ointment and it is vanilla scented. Now I always use um, Paw Paw ointment, but the actual original real one. So I thought I might grab this just to compare it to the actual real one and see whether it is as good because Paw Paw is actually quite expensive, whereas this one obviously was a pound. Um, and it's vanilla scented and basically with these types of ointments you can use them for so many different things You can use them for like on your lips like dry patches on your hands on your elbows um, As a moisturizer, so there are like quite a lot of different uses for it I'm just gonna see what it smells like Hope you can see how thick that is there. Well, it feels quite similar. It's a little bit softer Yeah, it's quite a bit softer actually compared to the real one But it smells nice. 
You know, like when you get a vanilla car air freshener, it smells like that. But it does feel like it's more greasy emollient. Like, I think it might be more like Vaseline based. Whereas the original real pawpaw ones are not like that. They're much richer. But still, that is a lot, uh, a lot cheaper. So it is a pretty good alternative. I actually can't get over this. And look at the colour as well. It's supposed to be all chocolate, but it's this like manky white colour. It's not out of date. I guess they've just like melted and then all stuck together. Okay, next up and last from all the beauty bits is this little nail polish. Um, I do just like nude nail polishes. I'm pretty lazy with my nails. And if I am going to go somewhere and not putting like fake nails on or something, I will just get like a nude polish and like really quickly go over them so they look a bit tidy. And I saw this one. I thought it was really nice. You can't really see very well on camera but it is a very light pink nude with a really really soft sheen through it and it says it's a ridge filler base coat so it's not actually one of their usual colors um but it is still a nail polish but it's like a base coat but a colored one so i thought yeah i would definitely use that one and i do have quite a lot of ridges in my nails as well so i thought i'd try that out so next i have a few hair accessories this one is a little bit boring it is just a hair clip a plain white hair clip but it feels really good quality i was going to get one of the ones where you get like six on one but they felt really bad quality and i have bought them before and they just like snap whereas this one feels like it's oh feels like it's actually gonna last. So I love this one just for like twisting your hair up when you're going in the bath and stuff and just popping it on top of my head. So that was just a bit of a boring buy, but definitely a very useful one. Um, Dylan absolutely loves hair bands. He likes like the scrunchy type. If they're on my wrist or in my hair, he will just come up to me and like pull them off. He pulls them off my wrist. And then if my hair's up in a bun and I'm like laid down the sofa, he'll come up behind me and grab hold of the bun and like undo the hairband and run off and take it. <laughs> he just puts them in a pile. He doesn't chew them or anything. He just takes them, collects them up and that's it. So he was just looking at these. But he realised they're not the type he likes. So maybe you won't steal these ones. So these are what I picked up next. And it is just these. You know like the Invisibobble but like a copy of that. And I just thought they were really nice shimmery colours and really pretty you've got some like nude ones here pink and then like a pale blue colour and I just saw them and thought that is really good value for six hair bands they're probably not going to be as good as the actual original invisible ones but still I think six for a pound is really reasonable and you know they're great for just keeping on your wrist they look quite pretty on your wrist as well and then you can just take them out and about and when you want to pop your hair up you can quite easily so yeah really happy with those Okay, so the last bits I bought are actually stationery. So this was the first thing that I picked up from the stationery section, which is like a desktop diary, if you know what I mean. So it sits on your desktop and then you can fill out each day and then as you go along, sorry, each week, and then as you go along, you just tear the page off and then you're down to the next day. So what I wanted this for is to actually put down like a meal plan on it because I'm pretty bad with planning what meals to have and what I need to buy. So I thought if I've got something like this, I can actually do on the home section a meal plan you do have like the days across the top and then down here you have the work section home section and play section so I also thought that was a really nice way like if you're going to meet some friends you can put that down the play section um, if you do have some something you want to buy for the home you can write that down and for the work section I'll probably just put in little bits there that I need to buy for work um, but I just thought this was a great little thing to have they did have a much bigger one and it was still a pound but um i just do you want to get down <laughs> he molts really badly so if you see any hairs flying around i do apologize yeah so they did have a much bigger one of these that was still a pound but i just like the size of this one because i didn't want it to be too big but yeah i just thought what a handy little thing to have and i have seen these online and they're much more expensive than a pound so i was quite happy when i saw this and then last up in my haul, to go with my planner, I picked up this pen, which I just think, look how cute this pen is. It's pink with like rose gold detailing on it and then this like diamond in the end and it's a twist up one. And I just thought I absolutely love that and it matches with this. So I'm gonna leave those together and it might encourage me just to fill them out each day. This one does feel a little bit cheap, but the end bit feels pretty good and um, I think it will last. But yeah, it's not like the best quality pen. 
their whole stationery section looked really good actually so if you're into stationery and you don't want to pay too much for it definitely check out Poundland because they had lots of stuff there and it's all this really cute like rose gold and pink and nudes and stuff so definitely worth checking that out. So guys that has brought us to the end of my Poundland haul. I feel like everything was pretty good apart from my magic stars. These were a big disappointment. They still taste like magic stars but obviously we know what happened with those. If you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more from me then definitely subscribe down below and also comment and let me know what videos you would like to see from me and I'll be happy to film those for you and I just want to say thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye!